So number 5, differentiate the following function with respect to x by using first principle. So we know that first principle, we have to find delta y over delta x. So delta y represents the change of the function according to the change in x. So we see here, delta y is change in function x and function x. And so we know that f x is a equal to y, right? So change in y is also to change in x minus the original x. So we can get change in y is equal to uh, change in y according to change in x. So y will only change when x change, something like that. Lah. The formula said something like that. So here, so differentiate, so dy over dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0 delta y divided by delta x. So you need to find what is delta y over delta x first before you can find dy over dx for the first principle. So this one. So here y is equal to 5x minus 8. So we know that delta y, so I don't write the delta y. Okay, here, so here delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x. So y is equal to f x minus 8. So we know that f x is equal to 5 x minus 8 because y is equal to f x. So f x plus delta x is equal to, so we know in function when we change x to x plus delta x, everything with x will change to x plus delta x. So we have 5 x plus delta x minus 8. So here we have delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x. So here we have 5. So we can directly expand. So 5 times x is 5 x. 5 times delta x is that you get 5 delta x. This one is minus 8. Don't forget. Minus f x is equal to 5 x minus 8. So here you get 5x plus 5 delta x minus 8 minus 5x. So minus minus 8 is plus 8. So this one and this one. So you see here 5x minus 5x can be cut off. So you get 5 delta x. So here delta y is equal to 5 delta x. So you want to make it into form delta y divided by delta x. So you bring delta x to the left, you get delta y divided by delta x is equal to 5. And we know dy over dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0, delta y divided by delta x. So we see here this one is equal to 5. So you don't have to substitute because you only have 5 which is equal to 5. So b y is equal to x square minus x. So we know that f x is equal to x square minus x. So we have to do f x plus delta x. So when we have delta x here, it means everything with x will change to delta x. So here we have x plus delta x square minus x will become x plus delta x. So here delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x. So here f x plus delta x, we have x plus delta x square. When we expand, we get x square. So 2 times x plus times delta x, we get 2 x delta x. And then here delta x square, you get plus delta x square. So this one is minus minus times x minus x minus times delta x, we get minus delta x. So we are done with fx plus delta x. So we have to minus fx. So fx is x square minus x. So here you get x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square minus x minus delta x. So minus times x square, you get minus x square minus times x, you get plus x. So which is equal to, so you see here you have x square and negative x square negative x and plus x. So you are left with 2x delta x. So this one is plus delta x square and this one is minus delta x. 
So, uh, so we want dy delta y over delta x delta y over delta x. So we factorize delta x out. So here, when we factorize delta x, we are left with 2x. So this one, plus delta x squared divided by delta x, we get delta x. And then here delta x, negative delta x. When we take out neg delta x, we get negative 1. Right, negative delta x divided by delta x, we get negative 1 here. So now we can do delta y divided by delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x minus 1. So here we know that dy over dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0, delta y divided by delta x. So limit delta x approaching 0. Here we have 2x plus delta x minus 1. So here you get, so you can substitute 2x delta x will become 0 minus 1. So you get 2x minus 1. C, y is equal to x plus 1 square. So we know that fx is equal to x plus 1 square. y is equal to fx. So fx plus delta x is equal to... So you change x to delta x. So here x plus delta x square plus 1 square. So you see here. Okay, so you see this one is quite complicated, but then you can expand fx. So you see here fx, when you expand, you get x square plus 2 times 1 times x, you get 2x plus 1. So this one will be easier for you to substitute later on. So fx plus delta x is equal to x plus delta x square plus 2 x plus delta x plus 1. So here delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x, which is equal to, so this one square you can expand. So x square, 2 times delta x times x, you get 2x delta x. Delta x square, you get delta x square. Okay, plus 2 times x is plus 2x. 2 times delta x, you get 2 delta x. This one is plus 1. So you are done with fx plus delta x. So you haven't done this one. So minus fx is equal to, here you see, x square plus 2x plus 1. So here delta y is equal to, so here you get x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square plus 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. So negative time x square, you get negative x square. Negative time 2x, you get negative 2x. Negative time 1, you get negative 1. Okay, so which is equal to, so you see here x square and x square can be cut off. So 2x and negative 2x can be cut off. And you see you have 1 plus minus 1. Okay, so you are left with 2x delta x plus delta x square and then you have 2 delta x. So you wanted to make it delta y divided by delta x, so you take so you factorize delta x. So 2x dx divided by delta x, you get 2x plus this one is delta x. And this one divided by delta x, you get plus 2. So here delta y divided by delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x plus 2. So here you want to make it dy divided by dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0 to x plus delta x plus 2. And we know that delta x is approaching 0. So here you get 2x plus 0 plus 2, then you get 2x plus 2. So here done. So d y is equal to 1 over 4x. So we see here fx is equal to 1 over 4x. So we have x plus delta x, which is equal to 1 over 4. So x will be changed to x plus delta x. So here delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x. So 
fx plus delta x is this one. So here 1 over 4x plus delta x. So minus fx 1 over 4x. So when you minus something like this, you need to have the, the same denominator. So you have 4 here. But then this one is without this one. Okay, so this one is times x divided by x. This one is times x plus delta x divided by x plus delta x. So why am I doing this? Because I want to make the denominator equal. So then I will have the... Okay, here should be what? So here we have the denominator would be 4x, x plus delta x. So and here above here, x time 1 you get x minus so this one would be x plus delta x so here you get delta y is equal to so x minus x okay so i just write x negative time x is minus x negative time delta x is minus delta x so divided this one is 4 over x x plus delta x So here x minus x is 0, so delta y is equal to delta x. So this one is negative delta x. So for x, x plus delta x. So we wanted to make into delta y divided by delta x. So delta y divided by delta x. So we bring delta x to the left. Now we get negative 1 over 4x, x plus delta x. So, now we have this, we know that dy divided by dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0. This one is negative 1 over 4x, x plus delta x. So, which is equal to, we know that delta x is approaching 0. This one is approaching 0. So, here we get negative 1 over 4x, x plus 0. So, here we get negative 1 over 4x squared. Here, this one is 0, so 4x times x is 4x squared.